Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is um, going to be how I colour in uh, George Tufex's books. Uh, so it's not a tutorial, it is just how I do it. Um, and you can do whatever you want. Okay, let's get into it then. Okay, so as we all know, I'm addicted to Around the World Colour by Numbered by George Tufaxis. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be colouring in. And the next page is Dubai. Um, in the order of things. Um, so, oh gosh. Let me tidy up a bit. Uh, so I am using the... Um, Bic Intensity Ultra Fines. I like the Ultra Fines because some of the bits are ultra fine. So that's that. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I like to pick my colours out in advance. Uh, you can see that I've made some alterations, but these are the colours that I'm using for this book. Each of George Dufex's books have a different key, but there is a lot of similarities. So you can say, oh, this light blue is now going to be this light blue, and then it works out the same. Um, so that's that. So these are the colours that I use for these pictures. Uh, because I'm using alcohol markers, permanent markers, you want to get your protector sheet behind, absolutely. I use a piece of cardboard from um, from a pack of certificates from work actually, but uh, there you go. It's all the same thing, isn't it? Um, so some people don't like to pick their colours in advance, but I find it really useful, and I do like to use the same things over and over. Um, so that's that. Now there's a couple of different ways you can go about colouring um, one of these pictures. You can literally say, right, number one, where are all the number ones? And do all of those in one go. Um, I find that that's hard with George Tufex's pictures because the spaces are so small and the numbers are so small. I end up missing a ton and it really gets on my wick. So, I don't enjoy that as much as um, I do in other books. Um, another way you can do it is like to start at the top. Um, okay, so this is number four, so I'll colour that. What's next? I'll do that. What's next? I'll do that. And you just kind of start in from the top to the bottom colouring. Uh, but the way that I like to do it is to pick part of the picture and colour all of that. So for example, let's do these creatures which I think are flamingos. So I'm going to start with them and I'm going to colour them completely. Um, okay, can you see them? Can you see them now? Just about. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, 14. We're looking on track for these being flamingos. Now, I apologise if my head comes into the screen because when I colour George Tufexis, I do get my head right in there. So I find that using the ultra fines, yeah there is bleed but hardly any, um, so the pictures are quite accurate without a truck ton of effort. So that's really good. So 
So you do need good eyesight. I would recommend good eyesight or a magnifying glass. I know that sounds a bit patronising. I, I don't mean it to be. But the images are so small. Sorry, I don't want to shove my head in. But I do, I do need to see what the images are saying. Okay, if at any point you can't tell what a colour is, then um, you can always use the thumbnail at the front or you can apply common sense. I know, um, and the way to do that is to say, well, this flamingo was pink here, so this one must be pink here as well. Um, and like here, the shadow is number five. So it's a pretty fair bet that this shadow is number five as well. And even if you've got it wrong, it isn't going to matter that much, is it? Because, you, you know, it's going to make sense at least. So like now I've got no idea what colour those beaks are. But we're not going to panic. Come back to them in a minute. Okay, so this is fifteen. Legs are 17. Well, this leg is 17, but the back one might be a different colour. Four black. So let me, I think these back legs are lighter. And the thing is, they are now. <coughs> and that's the end of it, isn't it? Tough. Right, let's have a look at the, oh, I've missed a, missed a wing. Okay. 
Okay, and then what is that? Oh. Pink. Right, so let's try and figure out what these beaks should be. So, if you go back to the front of the book, you've got these small pictures. And here, sorry, is the flamingos. So I'm going to go with black. Okay, and that's how I get around not knowing what something says. Are these bits white? Is that correct? Yes. So George Lufex's does have bits that are white with no number, and that is perfectly correct. Okay, so that's how you deal with that bit. Um, so yeah, I, I will colour to like it's a picture within the picture and then that way I can follow what on earth is going on I don't um, lose the plot entirely I can cope um, so another thing that occurs quite often in George Tufex's books oh, I'll tell you what happened in here No, I can't see any in this picture. Sometimes you'll see a zero. Okay, so this is what zero means. It means shade. So literally, whatever colour is around it, it wants a darker version of it. Just seeing if I can find one where I've done it before. definitely done it but I don't know if you'll be able to see it well enough. It was on one of these um, one of these buildings had it. Yes, 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 here. So this roof, can you see how there's three shades of grey? But there isn't three shades of grey in the key. So, this top shade is number four, it's light grey. This middle one in here um, is number 23. And then this bottom dark one is zero. So, because it's part of the roof, it makes sense to me that it needs to be a roof colour. And also, um, the next closest colour was 23, so it needs to be a shade darker of 23. So what I did here was, I did number 23, let it dry, and then I did it again. Um, so like I super saturated it, and that gave me a darker colour. Okay, here's another problem that I end up with, where there are two colours that I don't have. So, number 7, light beige, and number 12, dark beige. I don't have two beiges. All that I've got um, is uh, this one, which is Tiki Hut Tan. That's all I have. So, if you see this picture, this was number 7, the lighter beige, and then this is number 12, the darker beige. And all that I did was I did it all with the Tiki Hut Tan, and then once it was dry, I came and went over this bit again, and that gave me the two shades, the two colours. So those are options that you can do um, 
for that if you don't actually have the colour that you need to have. Okay, I'm just going to speed colour this next bit and I'm going to do here. Uh, and you can see how it builds up. Um, and hopefully I don't keep missing things. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the building done um, and the, I'll just carry on this way doing this bit, this bit, this bit until I've got the whole picture. Um, so if you've got George Tufex's books and haven't dared get started on them, um, I wouldn't overthink them. At the end of the day they're just a colour by number. This space is whatever colour the number suggests. It's that simple. Um, I would pick your uh, media wisely because some of the spaces are small. But other than that, just give it a go. The, the results that you get are just incredible. Um, and I would say that the hard work is done for you in the drawing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was of some use and it has inspired you. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Oh, here's Saffron with something to say. Have you got news to share? Yeah. So, um, we need to go off and have a cuddle. Uh, feel free to join in with your own furry friends. 
Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.